Well, this is the uh, first day of my uh, Chicago vacation, and I did not take my uh, dash cam with me, so I'm just uh, holding, oh my god, I'm holding my cam in my right hand as I'm shooting this, uh, because I'm driving a Mazda. As of today, I'm not a commercial truck operator, I'm kind of, a, you know, a civilian, so I can do whatever I want inside my uh, inside my car as long as it's not a fault, right? So, uh, safety nuts, relax. Uh, anyway, so this is day one, and I'm already enjoying myself because I'm cruising at uh, 115 kilometers an hour, or uh, what is it, probably 72 miles per hour, and it feels fantastic, you know, I'm flying by uh, all the trucks, and I don't know, I kind of look at them, you know, and they feel, I feel like, you know, they're my brothers, you know, like, I look at the trucks, because I have, uh, I've been doing this since uh, 2005, right, so I cannot just look at them uh, uh, indifferently, you know, I still check, like, all the, you know, trucks and trailers that uh, come uh, from the opposite direction. I don't know, I love trucking, but for some reason, recently, I noticed that, uh, uh, fun has been missing a little bit from uh, from my work and people were asking me you know do I enjoy trucking and I know I do enjoy travel like for example now I'm going to Chicago right and it's uh, 500 miles and I love it you know uh, travel is like my, my number one hobby and my number two is uh, videos right so and uh, when I'm a trucker I can do both I can make movies because trucking gives me a material for my movies, right? Um, and I travel. I'll see. I see the country. Just. A, I think what I should do is I should increase the speed, because that's what uh, really creates, uh, you know, uh, boredom. Uh, especially when you travel on uh, uh, familiar routes. Uh, I'm talking about the truck because I cannot even do 60 miles per hour. You know, like uh, I, I put on. Uh, uh, really uh, small tires on the truck. They spin at 520 miles, uh, sorry, revs per mile. So uh, if I go even 60, uh, my uh, IPM would be too high, and so the fuel consumption would be bad. You know. So I'm thinking I'm gonna. Uh, my tires are getting wear, uh, worn out. So next time when I put on the tires, I put on uh, bigger tires that uh, spin less per mile. You know, like. Uh, Maybe regular 22.5. Uh, they spin at 497 revs per mile, or uh, low profile tires, those spin at uh, roughly like 507, 512 revs per mile. So if I put those, uh, I'll be able to drive at least 60, you know, 62 miles per hour. And uh, so that would give me, uh, that would add some uh, uh, fun factor. The driving. Well, I made it to uh, uh, the Blue Water Bridge in uh, Sarnia, Ontario. Already paid the toll. Uh, that's the duty free, so the toll was uh, 350 It's the same price US or Canada. So now all I have to do is cross the bridge and answer a couple of questions of a CBP officer at the end of the bridge and uh, prove that I'm going in with the purpose of returning because that's the whole big deal, right? So I'm going to stay in the U.S. and be an illegal immigrant or whatever and try to find work or are you just going as a tourist? And then you're most welcome because they know that you're gonna spend money there, right? So, and of course I'll be back probably after three or four days because I have to start trekking, make some money. Uh, it's it's been a while since I crossed the border in a personal vehicle. Hope I'm not gonna run into any problems. Well, the border guy asks me, uh, "What's the purpose of your visit?" I said, "Visiting a friend." And he says, uh, how do you know this friend? I said, uh, we used to work together for the same company because, you know, she's the agent. She used to be an agent for Landstar, right? 
and I said we used to work together but now she lives near Chicago, Illinois and the guy, mm, she, so it's her girlfriend I said well I hope she'll be so <laughs> made me open uh, the trunk of the car, searched uh, asked me for my uh, uh, computer bag but didn't touch it, said you open it and you show it to me on your lap so Damn, it's always like whenever I go there, there, here in, in my car, they always give me they always give me you know harder time than when I'm in the truck because I don't think I crossed in this car here before and they don't like that you know when the, when your license plate uh, doesn't show up uh, on their computer because yeah he asked me he said uh, when was the last time you crossed here and I said well I only cross in my truck you know in the big vehicle so well all is good so now I'm I'm in the U.S. Uh, cruising on I-69 towards uh, Lansing, Illinois, where I passed many times uh, before in my uh, semi truck, but of course not at this kind of speed. Uh, that's 112 kilometers per hour. That's 70 miles per hour, which is legal for cars. So I'm I'm enjoying my freedom to be continued. I fueled up at this mobile. Uh, Special gas is 89, so 360 per gallon, and my tanks took 11.98 gallons at 43 bucks. Okay, after some extremely difficult calculations, uh, I see I have 540, that's uh, 540 kilometers I did from the last fuel up, and I put in 11.98 US gallons, which equals 45.28 liters. So I found out that I did. 8.38 liters per 100 kilometers or 540 kilometers is 337 miles and we know gallons so we divide miles by gallons or whatever and it's 28.38 miles to the gallon which is pretty good in my book you know my previous uh, Ford F-150 was doing like I don't know 15 liters per 100 kilometers much worse so this is a powerful vehicle because it's been uh, like my Mazda because it's I modified the, uh, put in a filter, right, and uh, bigger tires, and there's a performance muffler, so I feel the power, so uh, I'm not surprised that it's not doing 7 liters, it's doing 8.3, or rather almost 8.4, but which is still good because I did, uh, I think like uh, the first, uh, more than the 50% of this 540 kilometers were done in the city, and then I did a trip to Niagara Falls and back, so... It's pretty good so now I think it'll be better because from now on it's all freeway driving to Chicago and I have about uh, five five hundred kilometers left so we'll see what happens uh, when I fuel up uh, in Chicago again uh, now it just occurred to me that because I'm uh, visiting a friend who works in the trucking industry is that I can uh, consider this a business trip for the tax purposes because I know that I wanted to learn uh, from this girl a couple of you know tips on how to work with uh, uh, brokers and how to uh, broker loads, how to work with uh, uh, load boards. Because she she's uh, subscribed to you know Dat Networks load boards like 360 and stuff like that, and she has her own uh, trucking authority and her brokerage. And she asked me in return to show her how to work with uh, logbooks. And I'm bringing my laptop. I'm going to show her how to uh, how the Eclipse computer logbook program works, and you know how it can save you uh, money and time. So this is actually like kind of a. It's not. It's kind of half half. You know, 50% romantic getaway and 50% business trip because. She wants to make more money, I want to make more money, so we're just trying to find maybe something that can, can uh, help us both. So, uh, having said that, so I just spent, uh, what is it, like 35 bucks on gas. So, uh, starting from now, I'm going to start tracking my expenses for this uh, Chicago vacation slash, slash business trip. And I'm in uh, Battle Creek. Uh, Michigan, there's a new TA on that side, and here we have Pilot uh, with McDonald's, 
That's the price, by the way, today. Uh, diesel 378 per gallon, uh, regular gas 354, which is a bit cheaper. Actually, wait a second. I think this is more expensive than. Uh, yeah, it's more expensive than I was at uh, that Mobile gas station two hours ago. The regular gas was uh, 345 per gallon. I paid 360 for uh, 89, you know, which is one step above, like it's has high octane uh, count, and I hope it has less uh, ethanol. I asked the girl at the counter, I said, uh, does your gas have ethanol? And she looked at me like I was from Mars, and she said, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. But I know that in the States, yeah, all gas has ethanol, you know, at least, and uh, that's why I like putting premium gas in uh, um, in Canada, because I know for sure it, it's right there on the pump at the, any Shell station in Canada, at least in Ontario, uh, you get up to 10% ethanol with the cheapest gas, uh, 87, if you go to 89 you get only 5%, and if you buy a, a premium, then there's zero ethanol, and of course there should be zero because gas is more expensive you know like if you divide you see like 378 that's an interesting number because one gallon has 3.78 liters so that should tell you that's uh, so the price per liter is one dollar here one dollar per liter of diesel now compare that yesterday in uh, in Quebec the price was dollar 36 per liter and in Ontario it was dollar twenty eight per liter, right? So it's twenty five percent more than here. And as I as I am always saying is that everything is cheaper in the states, you know. It shouldn't be like that because you know we're a decent country too. You know why can't we have uh, you know the same kind of prices? But our taxes are like crazy. And Ontario also has a very high uh, fuel tax, 50 cents uh, per gallon. Right here it's like 20 cents, you know. So, anyway, I want to go and grab my laptop. Maybe check my uh, check my email. See if I've got any comments from, uh, from you guys, from my uh, viewers on YouTube. And this video is going to be day one of uh, Sergi's Chicago vacation. So yeah, it's gonna be a series again. So you know, that's the way I do things. So okay, I got a 24 ounce uh, cup with tea. Cannot drink any more coffee today. I already had like three cups. And you notice anything different about my appearance? I'm gonna give you give away a secret. How I achieve sometimes what appears a rugged look. Um, I have this Phillips. Uh, you know shaver whatever but I can use this you know to cut my hair and I use it you know when I adjust it like this just slightly actually I use it I use it for you know shaving and what it does it creates it's much faster than using a regular uh, you know razor and what it does it leaves a little bit of uh, shade you know and you look kind of like a cowboy you know <laughs> that's what <laughs> can give you like a nice uh, rugged look. Of course some people uh, want to have a you know clean skin altogether but I think that it it looks w better when you have some hair like uh, you know this stubble I don't know or whatever it's called stubble I think that's the right word. Anyway so check my email I answered some uh, comments from readers one guy sent me a link for uh, uh, Freightliner Argosy truck that's being sold in, in Toronto and believe it or not actually I love those um, you know cab overs uh, because that's what uh, you know I, I was familiar with them back in Russia we had uh, uh, some old Russian trucks were like that and actually I was really keen on, on buying this Argosy uh, truck when they were still sold in, in North America when they were new but then I called the local Freightliner dealer and the guy said, oh, you know, it's kind of like a rare truck, so we want $5,000 uh, deposit just for us to to order the truck, you know. 
like no financing yet just you know they wanted that money just to put the uh, to place the water with the factory because I guess they were afraid that no one will uh, want the truck if I you know refuse to take it upon delivery you know so I didn't buy it and now I see they have these two trucks sitting at the RJ uh, trucks uh, dealer in uh, Mississauga Ontario and the mileage is on one one is like 300,000 miles you know that's pretty low for a 2007 truck with heavy duty axles and a, and a, and a third uh, drive axle like pusher axle you know if I could get that with my that would be really good for my triaxle step deck you know to hold some heavy loads it's just that the price is okay like 65,000 which is like 50% of what the truck would cost new just a basic truck like a basic truck now you know just three axles would be like 130,000 here in Canada but uh, I'm not sure about the year you know that's when they all started putting in all these emissions uh, you know emissions uh, parts and I know I got lucky with my truck because my truck was 2004 it's still 2007 compliant but I think I just I got kind of like a light form of this emission stuff you know but uh, 2008 uh, I mean 910 I think those are like the worst trucks uh, they're not reliable so I would say it's better to buy either like a old truck older truck before all this emissions craziness started or a brand new truck because now they they worked out all these kinks you know so I'm not sure about 2007 so but it, it does look like a great truck you know I love those Argosy trucks but another uh, uh, another possible problem with that uh, particular truck that I saw online is that it has a very long wheelbase it's like 256 inches that that would be okay in in, U in US but in Canada I don't know I think that that would be okay with a 48 foot uh, trailer but not with a, with a 53 foot trailer you know and I'm getting a 53 and my flat now is 53 so so I don't know but uh, thanks to 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 the viewer there was an interesting link so I, I'm surprised uh, they sell uh, Argosy trucks what's happening here with my glasses I'm surprised they sell Argosy trucks with such uh, low mileage I don't know so uh, I got uh, 300 kilometers to go to uh, Chicago so time to go it's now uh, 455 it's really warm outside here uh, leaving Battle Creek Michigan look at this I'm at the first rest area in Indiana on uh, 94 and it's like winter was never here <laughs> if you remember my uh, Sorry, it's too windy. If you remember my uh, Quebec video, right? Just two days ago, uh, I was driving in snow. You know, now it's all beautiful. No snow, nothing. And you can walk like this. It's uh, 20 plus Celsius, or what is it? I think 70 Fahrenheit. Well, my GP, my GPS brought me down to the <laughs> downtown Chicago. Check this out. I never drove here before. This is uh, Highway 41. Uh, basically goes right next to the lake beautiful 